Hi everyone and welcome back to astrobloke.co.uk I'm taking you up my garden today to show you my homemade pier that I did on a budget I think the total cost was £155 and I chose this route rather than buying one because it was a lot cheaper and I've, uh, I found uh, sort of thinking about how to put one in it just seemed to fit better with what I've, uh, I've got um, I've also got an observatory which I built uh, which is what yeah, look, it's behind me. I'm going to um, also go through the details of that in another video of the build um, and the budget that I use for that. Um, I'm going to do it as two videos because keep them, keep them sort of a, a fairly decent length. But uh, I'm going to show you the pier now. So uh, I'll just uh, undo this lock and get us into the. Uh, into the observatory. I've got some uh, magnets that hold the doors back which is uh, quite nice. Just going to move my chair out of the way. <coughs> if you're looking for a chair um, for, for your garden, astrophotography or anything, um, I can recommend these. These are carp fishing chairs. Um, I got it from Amazon. I think it was about 40, 40 odd pound very sturdy um, obviously built for the outside and for long sitting on him for long periods while you're carp fishing so it's fleece lined it's all it's got loads of padding it's really warm it's very comfortable highly recommend highly recommend right so I'm not going to go through the details of the observatory now I'll do that on a separate video and I'll um, go through all the bits that I did with this and all the build and how much it cost. I can tell you now an observatory has transformed my hobby. Okay so here's the pier. <coughs> it's constructed of um, this is an aluminium pipe which is uh, from an air conditioning ducting. Basically went online three meters of that was about 30 pounds so I bought that. I wanted something that I could paint, um, and uh, that's that, that. That seemed the best thing. The base, uh, which is not attached to the observatory at all, is concrete, and I have a 50 by 50 by 50 uh, hole, which is filled with concrete, and then the concrete runs all the way up to the top of the pipe. The most expensive part of the build was the pier adapter. Um, I actually, this cost me £85 because it was a slight second from Altair Astro. Um, I mean, I, I actually couldn't find anything wrong with it. I think there was just a teeny mark on it. It was nothing at all. So that was a real bargain. Um, and it meant that my whole pier cost £155 in the end. These, you can buy circular and square discs off of eBay. Uh, it was about £3 for two or £3.99 for two. They are still... And the only thing I will say about these is drilling them, you do need some good drill bits. Um, a pedestal drill would be the best thing. Um, and also I drilled a large hole in this um, for my, my wire run. Um, and that was quite a difficult hole to drill. Um, I needed some cutting fluid and just had to take my time with it. But uh, that was a good way to finish off the top. Um, these, the bolts that come from the pier adapter are M8 and the bolts I've got going into the concrete for the support are M12 and these are M8 to M12 adapters and they screw both and meet in the middle and um, <clears throat> extremely, extremely sturdy, really set in there well. I made sure everything was level before I set it into the wet concrete and uh, the uh, threaded bars that run down are about 130 centimeters in length a bent at the bottom and uh, just gives extra e extra sort of uh, uh, hold there in the concrete what I also did was I ran cabling and I've got the power and the USB leads etc there's an elbow in there this is some drainage pipe 32 mil it runs all the way up to the top and as you can see this is where my wires come out to keep everything nice and neat I do have a new addition, uh, which is my high tech Astro dew controller, which has got some power outs as well, which are running the uh, filter wheel and uh, uh, an automatic focuser. But 
I'm more than likely gonna uh, take this apart, get the wire out of here because unfortunately it's a cigarette lighter at the other end or I'll take it apart at the other end and then I can run the wire through there and I'll mostly get this neatly put inside this pipe as well. Um, at the moment I haven't done it because the quickest way would be to drop the cigarette lighter down but unfortunately it won't turn the elbow at the bottom. I've had a few debates with people um, about peer design. Um, there's a few schools of thought. Um, one person makes a comment about this being a, a rat cage and that it's done for levelling purposes. It really isn't. Um, the reason for the gap is so that you can actually get to the centre of your pier to do it up because if you haven't got access to the bolt underneath your pier, there's nothing holding it down. So that's what this is for, not for levelling. It was already level. Um, and also people talk about flexure. And this thing doesn't move um, and I don't get any flexure and we all spend a lot of time balancing our mounts. If I release the RA, as you can see, it doesn't move. There's no offset weight here. All the weight is balanced. So the all the weight is in the center, going straight down. If there was an offset weight, then yes, flexure could come into it. I certainly don't get any problems with that whatsoever. And my tracking is rock solid. I mean, I regularly, uh, it's an EQ6R Pro and I'm regularly sitting at 0.5, between 0.5 and 0.7 and I've done nothing to this mount, I've done no mods whatsoever, that's out of the box. So, and I think the worst tracking I've ever had is like 1.2 and even then, with that camera where the uh, Pixel, with this scope, the 130 PDS and the 294M M Pro, the Pixel scale is 1.6, 1.4. So as long as you're under that, you're going to get round stars anyway. Let's talk a little bit about the base. I've got some pictures I can show you. But basically, uh, again, more debate where people feel that uh, you've got to have something like a cubic metre of concrete, um, which I think is completely over the top, personally. There's nothing wrong with putting a cubic metre, and there's nothing wrong with putting more, if that's what you want to do. If you're happy to dig that hole and fill it with concrete, then by all means go ahead. But remember, it's going to add to your costs. You're more than likely going to need a skip to remove the uh, the, the soil that you've dug up, so there's going to be a lot of it. And you're going to need to buy a lot more concrete. And you're going to have to put a lot more work in to mix it up. Um, the amount I put in has been absolutely fine. People have talked to me about frost lines. Well, this was always going to be inside an observatory that's insulated and heated, <clears throat> there's no way frost or the ground is going to freeze under here. So that really wasn't a concern of mine. And people say about movement, well, when we're imaging, we don't do river dance around the pier. Well, you can if you want, but uh, I, I personally wouldn't. Um, you know, we all move nice and slowly. We take our time. We, we're not stomping about. I've never had a problem. I can move around this and it doesn't know I'm there. So personally I, th I think you know you don't have to go over the top with the concrete put a decent base in give it a nice bit of support but uh, beyond that well it, it's, it's a personal choice but it's definitely not a necessity um, I made sure that none of the base of the uh, observatory even comes into contact with the uh, footprint or the where the uh, concrete is actually uh, in, it, in its hole so that works really well the pier is, you know, it's very hard to say of a disadvantage, really. Um, Advantage-wise, um, over a tripod, is that um, if I kick it, I only hurt my foot. Whereas with a tripod, I've got to polar align again. And that used to happen to me quite a lot. I'm a, fortunately, I used to be uh, quite clumsy in the dark. used to often kick my tripod, and then I'd be, like, cursing because I've got to start all over again with my polar alignment, etc., but this has uh, made an enormous difference and having a permanent setup is brilliant. Obviously having the observatory makes a big difference, but there's nothing stopping people putting a pier in and then getting an all weather cover to put on or leave your mount there and take your scopes off. But I know people that leave their setups all year round, good cover over the top and they don't have any problems at all. Um, some people say they wouldn't do it and I, I can understand that, um, but others have said they leave their stuff out all the time and they don't have any issues whatsoever. I do think some of this stuff is built, you know, it's obviously built for the outside. And when you're out imaging, even in an observatory with a roof off, <clears throat> it gets dew all over it, it gets wet. So there's, um, you can't, you can't uh, uh, 
that, avoid that. Um, so I think as long as you look after everything, it's um, it, it's going to be okay and it's going to serve you well. A pier though is a great thing to have. I I love it, and um, would highly recommend going to the effort of building one. Um, as I say, I will take you through my observatory build as well. Just shut everything up now. As I say, it's really nice to be able to come out and start imaging within minutes. Just literally turn everything on and and you're imaging. Um, and and of course everything's nice and secure and uh, and ready to go. Right. So if you've got any questions at all about the build, um, if there's anything you're not sure about, or I can maybe tell you what I did. I'm not saying that uh, this is the definitive build because it's by all means not. And uh, if you would like to um, just just pick my brains, you're more than welcome to. Um, I did quite a bit of research. Good, there's good and bad ideas. Um, I don't think there's any one way of doing anything. I think there's lots of different ways. But um, by all means, contact me in the comments, and uh, hopefully I can help you out in some way. But um, if you do like the video, also consider liking and subscribing. That would be great for me to uh, feel like I'm actually achieving something. Um, and uh, take care. Thank you. See, I told you, it's fine.